Logically, humans should be able to regenerate our tissues and organs, right? Neil deGrasse Tyson thinks so. Regenerating limbs exists in the genome of other animals, and we're all related genetically. Take a snip of that, nip tuck it in us, bada bing. Easy. What's the problem? Why don't we just do what it turns out Neil deGrasse Tyson was technically correct about? Smarty pants, mother. Sorry. And here's the catch think of yourselves like workers in a factory. When you're an embryo, all the workers are trainees. They can be assigned to any job. Those are like the pluripotent stem cells. But once you grow up, each worker is sort of locked into their job. One's a plumber, one's an electrician, one's an accountant. In adults, cells are specialists and specialists don't switch careers. Now, for something like limb regeneration, you need a big pool of flexible trainee workers you need cells that can rebuild bone and skin and blood vessels and nerves on demand. And biologically, adult humans don't naturally keep those kinds of flexible cells around. Now, our cells can repair a crack in a wall or a patch of leak. You know, that's wound healing. But they don't have the capacity to tear down and rebuild an entire wing of the factory. Our cells can't just, you know, abandon their functions and team up to become a new leg. That's the big biological hurdle.